all right. Oop. My mic over here. All right. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm probably gonna title the video something uh, dramatic uh, or something like that. I mean, you, you know, you guys will know because <laughs> uh, it'll be up already. But um, yeah, so let's just talk about. I guess uh, this is this should be a short video, but I mean, I don't have a tendency for making short videos. Uh, let's take a look at this here. I might put some thoughts out on this, all this stuff, but uh, there's something here in particular I want to show, and it's this, right? Uh, so I'm not going to like tell you guys what color to pull on this, because regardless of what color you pull, you're just going to usually get, um, I mean, you're usually just going to get jobbed anyway, right? Because you can't really pick what you want. It's like, oh, I want a red unit, so I'll pick, uh, you know, red, but you just like, there's way too many units in there. I mean, the best one, I think, would probably be uh, Colorless, just because, for one, you've got Bridal Micaiah. Two, you've got Budding Bow from um, Valentine Faye. I think her name is Faye. Uh, <clears throat> you've got Dual um, dual Mia down there, or Harmonized Mia, which is, you know, pretty good for scoring in that other mode. Uh, as well as, she's actually really good in that mode, just because, like, that mode prioritizes more, for one, movement, and she's a three-movement cav uh, with two ranged weapons, so there you go. Um, as well as just being able to like just killing things because a lot of times you can position yourself in a way that you can snipe the the dagger unit or whatever and then the units protecting them around there like they won't reach you because they only have like one movement sometimes you know it plays out differently depending on which map but a unit like her is just excellent in that mode um, down there Dorothea's there Let's see if I can I can't really see me clicking because it doesn't capture my mouse um, Dorothea's down there you know, she's fine. Uh, Tabarn is right there, which uh, the colorless Tabarn is actually pretty excellent because um, he comes with Heavy Blade 4 and Dive Bomb. So if you need anybody who, any flyers who have Dive Bomb or need Dive Bomb, in my case, I, I need Dive Bomb um, for Young Pala. Uh, but if you need anyone like that, I mean, there's Tabarn. Um, I can't see who's next to Tabarn there. I think she has like the Toasty Skewer. I'm not entirely sure. I think that's a that, that might be a healer, but that's probably not that important. Um, the other thing is this Plumeria on the right. I, I I don't remember needing her, but I think she's pretty good. Uh, Zane is there, obviously, who's a pretty decent unit. Um, yeah, he actually. I mean, obviously, he didn't turn out to be as like overwhelming as you know one might have thought he would have, but uh, he certainly does seem still like an excellent investment. And you know, I kind of regret not pulling for him. So hopefully, when he comes around next time, I'll have enough to. To get him, uh, hopefully, I mean, none of you pull him out of this uh, five-star thing, right? Because I mean, it's bad enough you can't choose what you want, but now imagine like getting a four-star, uh, a nat four-star out of here, like uh, that's just horrible. Uh, but the the one I'm kind of stalling to show is uh, that one right there. The um, what's her name? The duo is it duo? I think they're or they harmonized. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but that little duo, Lin, uh, just because she can take out like entire. Um, defense teams by herself given how many dances you can get on her um so as you can see here i I'd probably recommend the colorless uh pool just because it's it's for one it's smaller so you have a higher chance of getting what you want uh and it's just full of good units up here there's not a whole lot of good units but of course uh for those of you who know this account um byleth is here and this she's primarily why uh i'm making this video for one and for two primarily why i'm showing it to you here because as you can see I already pulled her because that banner's not here. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I just decided to pull on red for the sake of it, uh, and I and I got her. So here we are. Um, I wanted to have this on on recorded somewhere so we can all see. Uh, here we are. Finally, the the journey, the what was a very short journey to the plus ten biolith has uh, come to an end. Uh, I was really worried that I'd have to wait till like, you know, a year later for another banner to come out. <laughs> I just pulled one time on one banner on Red Pool, which is probably the, the worst one to be pulling on. <laughs> I ended up just getting uh, my last Byleth out of all those units. It's, uh, yeah. So, I mean, I guess given the luck I had with her and the luck I had with this banner, like, it really just, I can't really complain anymore. Um... Yeah, I mean, you know, can't really complain anymore about RNG or anything like that. So I just wanted to have this on uh, uh, on footage somewhere. Uh, she still needs a bit more feathers. I'm not. I don't know if. I mean, if it, it's a shame to plus ten her and then not plus ten feathers her or plus ten flowers her. Um, but I'm I'm still not convinced. I should just 
I want to like spend all those flowers because you're especially you're essentially paying like a huge amount of flowers for the last two merges or the last two you know flower upgrades. Uh, and all you're going to get is defense and res, which she doesn't really need. But uh, like I said, it, it's kind of a shame to have uh, gone all this way with her. Um, the plus 10, such a premium unit, and then not uh, not give her the flowers. Um, but I, I gave her three flowers just to, to get her attack and speed up more. Because uh, she's, she's just insanely dangerous. It's, it's, like, it's, hard, to, uh, it's hard to overstate how, how, how dangerous she is. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, here we are. Let's no more stalling. Let's uh, merge her up, and we got our plus ten uh, buy list. Um, and there we go. And not only does that give us the plus ten buy list, so not only does it just make her stronger in general, um, but also what this does is give us a, a very good unit for uh, arena. Which, as I mentioned last time, my arena build video. Now we have um, one of those plus ten units is 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 solid basically right now. Um, of course, the 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 one that's going to take the longest, obviously, is going to be the um, uh, Ninja Hana, because <laughs> she's going to need a lot of Grails. Um, fortunately, if you saw, and like I said, I might review this later, but if you if you saw the um, the upcoming, you know, especially Tacho's video, he, he kind of just went through all that stuff uh, really fast, which is convenient because I can't do that very fast. Um, we're, we're getting a bunch of GHBs in the next, you know, few weeks, next two weeks or something like that. And one of them is Patrine, which is pretty cool because that's another Patrine merge. Um, one of the other things that's kind of interesting about her that uh, it's not readily obvious is that she has pretty decent res. Now, I mean, it's not, you know, it's not great. It's 25. You're still going to get, you know, dumpstered on 25. But that's like 25 on her is different than 25 on someone else because 25 on her, like, she can't get doubled, so that 25 is basically pulling double duty because you're not going to get hit twice. You just you just have to have enough res to survive a one-shot. Um, and the thing about her defense is it's not wholly relevant because she can she fire sweeps, right? Or she wind sweeps people with the wind sweep skill. So she doesn't have to worry about them countering. Uh, the reason I, I point out the, the res here is because on defense, she has 30 res because Mirabilis is there. Um, and I mean, that's a, again, that's pretty decent. You're, 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 the more res you stack on her, the better, because if she fights against dragons, I mean, chances are she's probably not going to get outsped by any dragon. Uh, but a dragon, oh no, actually, never mind. Dragons, uh, they hit your weakest. So they're still going to hit her defense. So never mind. I was just kind of thinking, like, since dragons hit, uh, res, it's like dragons are the only people who can, like, counterattack her. But, um, the other people who counterattack her are mages. Um, unfortunately, the one mage that is going to be on Aether Raid's offense that she's going to run into a lot of the time that will just destroy her is going to be that um, the New Year's Alphonse. Uh, there's not much you can do about it there, but it is what it is. At least you got 30 res, so, you know, he can't double you. Well, he might be able to. I'm not sure. can't remember. He might double you. Um, I don't think he can, though. Well, actually, no, he shouldn't be able to. Um, but, yeah, so just uh, really wanted to take a moment to... To, uh, I don't know, just just come over here and, and just <laughs> bask in the uh, in the uh, in the glory of a, of a plus ten summer buy list um, here. So uh, this is the build. The ward flyers is kind of necessary to give um, Camilla. I guess to talk about her a little bit. The ward flyers is necessary to give Camilla. Uh, her survivability because she's like the you know the frontliner, um, but you could replace like if you wanted a a, a a solid arena like solo like 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 she does her job better than anyone else in arena specifically because you don't have to worry about team members there. I mean you kind of do, but like you can kind of ignore them. If you wanted a straw a solid just straight you know arena build. Uh, I'd probably replace the ward. Uh, I mean, obviously, you'd probably replace it because you're probably not going to run. Like, it's even on that arena video I made, I didn't have any other flyers on the team, so the ward flyer doesn't do anything. Um, you'd probably replace that with a, like, speed res rain or something like that, right? Uh, problem is, the only the only person who currently has speed res rain, I think, is the Triandra. Uh, and I'm not going to fodder her off for, <laughs> for that because um, I think that's dumb. Uh, but if another unit comes out, that's what you want to put there. Uh, and then uh, on the other side, for her C or her her sacred seal slot, you probably just want to replace that with attack speed solo. Um, I mean, the bond doesn't work too bad, but you know, like I said, if you want her to be just like the perfect version of herself for arena, where she doesn't have to worry about or rely on other units, um, you're gonna want that uh, solo skill. Uh, and like I said, 
two more. So she's basically at, this is as this is as high as she's gonna get in terms of stats, uh, except for again like the flowers. So I think after we get these flowers, because this event's happening and all that stuff, we're gonna get a bunch of flowers and then you know the season and all that stuff. So hopefully with those flowers, I'll be able enough to get her to plus eight. And once she gets to plus eight, uh, she'll be at fifty six attack and fifty two speed, which is pretty uh, pretty beastly considering fifty two speed. Uh, plus this gives her seven, gives her fifty nine speed. Uh, when sweep, uh, this should theoretically always be active because she's gonna have flyer formation. Well, she's gonna have flyer uh, guidance from uh, Minerva. Anyway, this should usually be active, so that's fifty. That's what? What did I say? Fifty nine, sixty four speed. Uh, plus this, this thing here, uh, sixty four speed plus five is sixty nine speed, um, which is just the perfect number, I think, right? <laughs> Uh, but the fact that I have Camilla and um, my, what's her name, Camilla and the uh, Young Minerva both have, well, Young Minerva has Goad Flyers and Camilla has her Axe, so that's another plus 7. So that boosts her up to 76 speed, um, which is, you know, it's no joke. The only thing, like I said, I, I've said this, I think, a few times before, but I guess I'll just mention it in terms of talking about uh, her and, and her own specific video here. Uh, the only thing I would change on her and it, it's because it doesn't exist yet and i haven't done it yet and i you know probably it's one of the things i should be saving orbs for is when, when whenever we get a, uh, an attack speed unity like it needs to go on her like immediately like you need to just like forget about everything else and just put that on her because you're losing two speed from the like the push gets you seven but you're losing two speed because it's uh basically just an attack defense bond with a two range instead of adjacency um, so you're losing two speed, but what you're gaining is the ability to avoid sabotage speeds, chill speeds, bright shrines, like all that stuff now does not affect, uh, Byleth anymore. So her speed is just gonna, you know, boost astronomically, which that's like attack, attack speed unity. If it, whenever it comes out, if, and when it comes out, it would already just be dumb if it just negated those, like the way the attack speed bond four did, right? You get plus, um, plus seven attack speed, uh, and then you just negate, you just ignore those debuffs, right? Um, that one, that that one's already dumb. And I wanted, I was like, oh well, I'll put that on her at some point. But then I, I thought about it for like more than one second. I was like, well, you just put the unity on her, and not only does she not have to be adjacent now, so that removes one of the restrictions that made Bond so bad. You're only losing two speed for the ability to not only ignore debuffs, but also gain those debuffs as extra stats, which is pretty dumb. Um, yeah, there's really not a whole lot else to say. I mean, it's just it's ridiculous uh, how good that is. Um, but yeah, so, you know, we'll, uh, I'll leave you here with her little, uh, quote at the end, so you guys can, uh, listen to that, and then we'll, uh, close out the video, and that'll be it for today. Uh, I just wanted to share this, uh, clearly, uh, momentous occasion of <laughs> achieving a, a free-to-play plus 10 Byleth. Well, I, I mean, technically free-to-play. I didn't, the thing, the thing I want to stress is I didn't spend a bunch of money, like, you know, hundreds of dollars to go get a plus, a plus 10 Byleth. All these orbs were gotten from free-to-play... Uh, those thousand orbs were gotten from free to play sources, um, but I can't claim to be free to play because I have spent money on this game. So I have spent, um, I, I spent on the on the on the Fey Pass, right? Granted, that's not the biggest deal, but it's hard to state uh, how convenient it is to have that pass around because there's certain things that you can just auto, like auto is just a huge function. Um, and I mean, you know, like I said, you get five orbs every week you have it, because um, every two weeks or something like that because of those bonus missions. But it's like, it's not that big a deal. And unfortunately, the problem, one of the things that's, that's kind of annoying is when you look at the orb balance, which is broken again. Uh, I don't know why it's, it keeps breaking. Um, but when you look at the orb balance, it, it includes those orbs from the free-to-play in there, from the from the Fey Pass in there as, you know, as free-to-play. Uh, which is kind of irritating, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but five orbs every two weeks isn't really that big a deal. Um, but yeah, so, like I said, technically, you know, if you, depending on how you want to look at it, if, it, if you want to go absolutes, then yeah, it's not free to play. Um, but I, I, I tend to think of it as free to play, considering I had to earn all those orbs. I had to have enough restraint not to just spend them all on something stupid. Um, <laughs> the, one could argue uh, the uh, <laughs> there wasn't a whole lot of intelligent thought going into saying I want a plus 10 violet because I mean, look at her. Um, but yeah, so like I said, I'll, uh, I'll leave it here, um, and we'll uh, just listen to this. We have played hard, haven't we? Been a while since I've seen a beach. 
How about you, Lady Rhea? Come to think of it, yes. It has been some time. Tranquility of the sea, the caress of the waves. I had all but forgotten. Well, now we can experience it whenever we like. In this world, at least. Should we invite Sedith and Flame next time? That would be lovely. The students should come along as well. All of them? We'd have our hands full. Yes, we have our share of troublemakers. All in good fun. Their hearts are in the right place. As is yours. You truly are so kind. Just like... Hmm? That is nothing. Would you care to take a walk down by the water with me? I hear the fish in this area are resplendent. Of course. Come then. Let us for once relax and enjoy life's simple pleasures. <laughs>